so I'm finally at my hotel. I'm staying at the Karachi Inn guest house. It's about 15 minutes drive from the airport. So I just gotta tell you about the whole visa situation. You need to apply for the visa on arrival. You need to go onto the website and then there's an option that you use that says visa in your inbox. So when you apply, you don't actually get the visa, but you actually get a ETA, which stands for Electronic Travel Authorization. So what needs to happen is once you get to immigration office, you need to submit that form. And based on that, they will then give you the, the visa on arrival. But when I got to the immigration office, there's a specific kiosk um, for visa on arrival. Then the immigration officer then told me that my visa, or the one that I applied for, was for diplomat. And then they asked me my purpose for visiting uh, Pakistan. And I told them that I'm here for tourism, I'm just on vacation. And then he said to me, well, I've applied for the wrong visa. And I did not believe that. And I said to him, no, I definitely chose the option for tourism. And then he said, but not to worry. Um, they will then issue a visa for me for tourism. They said that they would go into the system and they would then issue me a new visa or the visa on arrival for the $20. I said, let's just go ahead and do it. And it took a while for them to do it. And I'm not exactly sure, I couldn't see what they were doing, but they were, you know, busy on the, on the computer doing the thing. A few minutes later, he asked me for my phone. Well, he said to me that the visa has now been issued and he took a picture of the visa with my phone. And I said, okay, cool, that's it. So I'm free to go, but then I would have to pay the $20. I asked him if I could use my card because at the time I didn't have any cash on me. And then he said, no, it's cash only. Um, and I said, well, I didn't have any cash. I would then first have to go to an ATM and get some cash and then come back. And then he just said to me, it's okay, he'll pay the $20. So guys, it j just seemed a bit fishy to me. Um, I think that it was definitely a, an attempt to scam me out of another $20. I, I would have paid the $20 either way if it was the right thing to do, but not under those circumstances. I know for a fact that I chose the right options. In fact, when I when I chose those options, I was getting help. There was a, there's a chat facility, and I was getting help from that chat facility as well. It's it's a, it's a bot, but I still got assistance. So there's no way that I could have chosen the diplomat visa. I definitely chose tourism visa, and um, I think it's valid for 90 days or something like that. So. Just watch out for that guys because um, I've been told that there are, you know, various types of scams. I come with an open mind. I don't come suspecting everybody. So um, when I see it happen, obviously then I'll, I'll be alert and I'll try and put that information on my, in my videos or in the description or something like that. But definitely keep an eye out for that. And uh, as far as the extra $20 is concerned, I never paid it. So that to me just seems very fishy because how could i then get the visa without paying for it and then the other thing is when i eventually got the visa i sent me the picture of the visa um, it showed exactly the same tracking number that i had on my online application so which means that they actually used that application they didn't do a fresh application so uh, another red flag i'll keep you up to date on those things but so far guys all good. I'm happy to be here. I'm just going to relax a little bit now.